What's going on guys, this is John Zakari, and man, the NX rumor mill just does not shut down, does it? It was reported earlier today by Digitimes that the production on the NX has been pushed into 2017 to quote, enhance the game console's video game slash handheld game integrated gaming experience and add virtual reality function to the system to gain advantages in the upcoming video game and mobile game competitions. Meaning that Nintendo could potentially be throwing its hat into the VR race, but does it make sense? Virtual reality in terms of a home gaming experience is still very much in its infancy. We're not sure yet if this is going to become a staple of the gaming industry or if it's just going to be a fad that quickly dies out. Furthermore, much of what we see in the VR gaming realm are first person experiences, many of which shooting for realistic or sci-fi aesthetics. None of this really screams Nintendo. So would it be wise for Nintendo to jump into this space after several other companies have long been developing this technology and working on these experiences? And many of Nintendo's titles just don't seem like games you'd find in virtual reality. Personally, I would be happy if Nintendo was at least looking into VR. Even though I myself am not that gung-ho about it, it would tell me that Nintendo is paying attention to what is popular in the industry and maybe looking to branch out. While I know we Nintendo fans often praise Nintendo for doing things their own way, this methodology has also been a bit of a double-edged sword, keeping Nintendo a step behind the competition in a variety of areas. Particularly, I've always claimed they need to get more online gaming friendly, which admittedly they have been doing better with recently. Whether or not virtual reality gaming takes off, I think it's a smart move to be ready for that as a possibility. As we've seen other companies do to Nintendo with motion controls, once one company develops a technology and it gets popular, it becomes fairly simple for others to mimic it. So if VR does end up being a hit, it would be a good idea for Nintendo to be able to offer it on their platform. This also intrigues me because, as we've been hearing throughout the development of VR, the technology requires a lot of power to pull off. So if the Big N is considering incorporating VR into their next console, it would have to be pretty powerful. And keeping up with the power and system architecture of their competitors has also been a big problem for Nintendo, and led to the departure of many third parties as a result. And even though VR games aren't something that scream Nintendo, it's not like they couldn't make some cool things with it. I mean, back when Star Fox Zero was first shown at E3, I mentioned that I wasn't impressed with the cockpit view on the gamepad because it seemed like they were kind of chasing that VR experience but I think an actual Star Fox game built for VR would be pretty awesome. Or even imagine a franchise like F-Zero returning in VR. You'd probably need to bring a barf bag for that, but it'd be pretty cool. And there are currently games like Lucky's Tale that was a 3D platformer built for VR that are being praised for their innovation, and that stuff is right up Nintendo's alley. Regardless of what Nintendo decides to do, the gaming industry is in a state of unrest. We've got new hardware upgrades for the PS4 and Xbox One likely to be announced at E3. All this VR tech is coming out. Nintendo's got its own system coming out, which seems to be some kind of console handheld hybrid. No one seems to know where our immediate future lies. So I think putting myself in Nintendo's shoes, coming out with a new console while we're in this state of uncertainty, and it makes sense to consider all possibilities, and more importantly, be ready for them. And with that, this video is a wrap. Let me know what you think of the possibility of virtual reality coming to Nintendo's next console in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to my channel now, and you can say you were a subscriber before it was cool. As always, I'm John Zakari, and thanks for watching.